Holy crap, lads and ladies around the world! Welcome back to another feckin' video. My name is TV Geek, and today, as you've seen from the title, I am gonna check out every single Legend of Zelda trailer. Now, this isn't just one or two or three Legend of Zelda games, this is the entirety of the Legend of Zelda franchise. We're gonna be checking out every single trailer for all of these games. Now, I know that's a big deal, and that's a lot of trailers, but we're gonna do it because we've done this for several different franchises in the past, and considering the success of my Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild series on the channel, I decided to do this, not just to entertain you lads and ladies at home, but for my own curiosity as well, as I've heard that there's so many different Legend of Zelda games, and there's a few, I wanna say five or six titles that really stand out that you guys have mentioned on numerous occasions for me to play at the Breath of the Wild, which I will do, so do not worry. Next year is gonna be the 35th anniversary of Zelda. So we're gonna be going into the Zelda franchise hard and I'm excited to explore other Legend of Zelda titles next year to celebrate that 35th anniversary. So today, we've got a very chunky video. As I said, we're gonna be checking out every single Legend of Zelda trailer and it's gonna give me a little bit of an idea and a perspective of what these games are about and what they have to offer. So genuinely, I'm very excited to see what the games have to offer, what they're gonna be like, and how they compare to the likes of the Breath of the Wild. So this is very interesting and very, I think, you know, unique to itself as it's never really been done before, not that I've seen on YouTube anyway. So this is gonna be the first of its kind. So I know there's a huge amount of you here in the community that are huge Zelda fans. So please show your support for this video by leaving a like. I greatly appreciate it. Let's go for something like, I don't know, 4,000 likes, if we can do that, that'd be awesome, I'd really appreciate it. And spread the video around, because this isn't gonna be just one video, because there's a lot of trailers to check out, so it's gonna be a two-part series. So, we need to show the support, we need to get the video around, we need to push it into the algorithm, and get this thing trending, because if it does well, then part two will come very soon afterwards. So, depending on the performance of the video, it will entice me to keep going, and check out the remainder of the list. So, it's time to check out every single trailer for the Legend of Zelda series. Here we go. All right, ladies and gents, check out this behemoth of a list. So, again, again, I want to say a massive shout out to Mark's top lists and the other people that helped him out in making this list and making sure it had everything and of course it was accurate and in order the way it should be. Now, we have plenty of different games here that I honestly wasn't expecting this many, but there is a lot. So, as you can see, we have a list starting from number one with The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, all the way down as far as 57, which of course is the Hyrule Warriors Definif Definitive Edition trailer. So like I said, there is a lot of different trailers today, but in this part of the video, we're going to be going as far as 25, The Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. So we're going to go as far as there in part one, and then part two, once the video performs as well as it should, we're going to go as far as 57 from 26. So it's going to be an amazing two-part series, and I do think a lot of you out there are going to be curious to see how this plays out. Plus, it's going to bring out a bit of nostalgia for a lot of you Zelda fans out there as well. But all of this is completely new to me, so I can assure you this is going to be a fresh experience and a fresh reaction. And I'm genuinely very excited. So, let's just get started, lads, with the first one, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Alright, so this is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword trailer. This is a game that came out on the Nintendo Wii Let's check it out. Okay. That looks like Rito Village. Is that Rito Village? No, maybe not. No, maybe it's not. There's my boy Link. I'm guessing that's Zelda. I don't know what those things are. Oh, 
Oh shit. What the heck? What was that creature? Nice. Alright, we got some platforming. Whoa, what is that? Weird. Oh, look, it's an emoji with arms. The Legend of Zelda. Skyward Sword. That looks like a title that I think I would enjoy. Not gonna lie. Really like that. Hmm, awesome. So that was Skyward Sword. It did, you know, give me the familiarity of Breath of the Wild. Um, similar kind of uh, art style, animation style. Uh, but you know it's an older game. But it definitely, it definitely looks like something that I would enjoy. Even now, so, hmm. Now, the important thing to consider when you're watching this video, lads. Especially if you are a Zelda fan and you want to see... A fresh perspective from somebody else of Zelda. You have to let me know which games I should play. Which games should be a part of the 35th anniversary series. Which will be happening next year. Where we play a lot of these Zelda games for the first time. So you need to let me know which ones are definitely the best. Because I'm not going to play everything. Because as you can see there is too many. But I will play the best ones. But that was Skyward Sword. That looked great. Now this one is called Minish Cap. Let's see what this is about. This is um, a very old trailer. So was this on the Nintendo DS? didn't know Link could duplicate himself. So let's just have a quick look at the description there. E3 trailer about Legend of Zelda Minish Cap for the Game Boy Advance. Oh, alright. So that was for the Game Boy Advance. Cool, cool, cool. Because I know there is a lot of Zelda games that came out on Game Boy and the DS and obviously other, title, other consoles as well. So there's obviously a lot of other games that I haven't seen. Uh, but this is the Minish Cap Japanese trailer. So let's see what this is like. Might show us a little bit more. Link has always been so adorable, hasn't he? Okay. Oh, there's more, there's more. Why is he gone miniature? Is there like a giant world or something? Wait, what's with Link's hat? <laughs> His hat's like a little bird. What's that about? Whoa, okay, so the Japanese trailer is definitely showing us a lot more gameplay. So is that why it's called Minish Cap? That's the name of his, his little cap, maybe? The Minish Cap? I could be completely wrong. 
just making a guess there. Interesting, interesting, but probably not a title I will play considering it is on the Game Boy Advance. Now we have The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Anniversary. Right, so what's this about? Let's see. 25th anniversary, just 10 years ago. So this is on the DS. Wait, what? A new version of the Game Boy Advance Classic. So is it four player co-op? Oh cool, look at all the rupees! And there's a single player mode as well. <laughs> it looks so playful. I love it. Definitely a game, especially if you're, you know, you're for friends with people that are also Zelda fans and you want to just kind of get together and hang out and play that game. That looks like a lot of fun. Not going to be a title that will be seen on the, on the channel by any means, but definitely a game that I think um, friends can definitely play together and just have a good time. Now, this is a title, straight away, I seen this and I was like, okay, this is one that keeps coming up when I'm streaming or the video comments. Ocarina of Time. This is one people are saying that I need to play. I need to play this one. I need to play this one. So this is one of the few that has been highlighted throughout my Zelda journey so far. So let's check out the, the commercial in the US. A dark time is approaching. Okay. It's my boy Link. Is that Zelda? Whilst thou run. Or fly. Will you sink? Or swim? Wait, does he have a grappling hook? On the N64. Ooh, okay. That one looks good. It looks good. Obviously, graphically, not that impressive because it's a game that com came out years ago, but it definitely has like really powerful story elements to it, which is something that I enjoy no matter what it is, whether it's a video game or a movie or a TV show. And that's something that I think I would like. Um,. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Like I said, graphically not that great, but if it's got the gameplay and it's got the story, then I'm definitely up for playing it. Now we have The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D Master Quest trailer. So let's uh, check this out. So this is a, a 3DS version of the game, perhaps? Did you know there's a second adventure hidden inside The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D? A second adventure? Master Quest. This okay. second adventure is known as the Master Quest. It was released as a pre-order premium along with The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, released in 2002. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D includes the Master Quest. 
this version of the Master Quest, everything in the game appears mirrored. Oh! In this mirrored world, it's not just that everything is flipped horizontally, but also the position of enemies, items, and puzzles are different from the original world. Oh, there's more enemies too. Also, the damage you take from the enemies will be doubled, so you can enjoy a much more challenging quest. Only those who clear the original story can play the Master Quest. A new challenge awaits. Whoa. That's not, that's not open world, that game, is it? Or to an extent. Semi-open world, maybe? Awesome. Master Quest. I believe there is a master mode for Breath of the Wild. I see that coming up in the comment section a lot. Um, so that's probably something that we'll consider doing next year, maybe. We'll see. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D trailer. Okay, let's check this out. So I'm guessing this is on the 3DS as well. Yeah. A dark time is approaching. Alright, so this is similar to the original trailer for the N64. Improved visuals, yeah, not as uh, blocky. Link's face definitely looks a lot better. Yeah, it definitely looks a lot better. If I was gonna play this game, this is the version I would play. That's the hero sword, right? That shield as well. Huh, I wonder when I'm going to come across that shield in Breath of the Wild, eh? Or if it even is in Breath of the Wild. I'm sure it is. Yeah, definitely going to play that version of Ocarina of Time, I think. I think. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed that. So, now we're on to Timeline 1. I did ask Mark to separate this, you know, according to different timelines and stuff. And making sure that you group all of them in the right places. And, well, this is Timeline 1. Whatever that means, but apparently there is multiple timelines to Zelda games and all of them don't They're, they're all their own thing, but they they exist I don't know. They're all their own thing, but they have the same characters and stuff. It's really confusing It's really confusing. You guys can explain that to me all you want But this is timeline one and we're gonna start things off with the Legend of Zelda a link to the past So let's check this out Introducing the epic challenge that only the Super Nintendo On the Super Nintendo. Oh, it's going way back. Across endless land and water, you search. Deep into a parallel world, where light becomes dark, you search. And just when you think your search has ended, you find it's just begun. The new Legend of Zelda, a link to the past. Now you're playing with power, superpower. Alright, so that was like a really old commercial, um, live action in a way, <laughs> but it just gave you uh, a little taste of the title. Now this is the Japanese commercial, so let's check this out on the Super Famicom. What the feck is happening? All right. <laughs> uh oh. 
Uh-oh. What the hell did I just watch? <laughs> oh, you gotta love these Japanese commercials, man. They're so good. <laughs> They're so out there. I love it. All right, so the next one we got is The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past and Four Swords Japanese commercial. We got another Japanese one. Let's see what this is like. It's only 30 seconds. Rupees! Oh, they're fighting over rupees. All right, so showing the full player co-op. <laughs> All right, Japanese commercials. Not much to say about them, but interesting. Okay, so now we got one that is, I think, quite popular, and I'm not sure if this is the... I don't think this is the the new Link's Awakening. This is the original Link's Awakening. So I don't even know what I don't even know what platform this came on, but I can see here Mark in very very small writing says, "I don't even know, man. I don't even know, man." <laughs> so this is gonna be um really interesting. Moving on. Swiftly. <laughs> that was so weird. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, alright. Okay, let's just roll with it. Alright, so this is the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening commercial. So let's see what this is like. Down with Zelda from the very start. I got the heart, it's Mars to play the part. Down with Zelda. To creep it through with thin overhead view. Cause a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do So I stay on track, collect the facts Never cut the slack, and I always watch my back for Jack Zelda, yeah As soon as then, I'm the man with the plan Cause the power's in my head, and the power's in my hand Zelda <laughs> I mean, alright, I mean the beat was fresh I gotta give him that, the beat was fresh Okay, so that was um, another strange one. These Leaks Awakening trailers, man, are out there. Okay, so now we got the Switch trailer. So this is the new version of Link's Awakening that came out on the Switch. So let's have a look here. Oh, we got some sort of animated trailer here. Link. <laughs> what happened? God, I love the music in Zelda. What's a giant egg? On top of a volcano. Oh my god, this looks adorable. This looks so cute. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. 
Did that owl just call Link a brave lad? What do you say? Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer. <laughs> I like that owl already. This looks adorable. I really want to play this. Who wants to see me do some videos on Link's Awakening? So I think, if you think about it, Link's Awakening is the newest Zelda game. Because Breath of the Wild came out before this, I think, back in 2018? Or was it 2017? Maybe it's 2017. Link's Awakening on the Switch is actually the newest Zelda game. I could be wrong, but I, I think it is. I kind of want to play it. Actually, no, I do want to play it, so let me know. Uh, we got another trailer for it, so let's check this out. This is trailer number two. Wash ashore, a strange land, a castaway will seek the truth. So he got washed up. Only first he must awaken. Oh my god, this is so cute! <laughs> Can Link escape Koholint Island? He won't give up without a fight. This looks so adorable. Oh man, I think I have to play this game. What's well, not over? Arrange a dungeon? What the heck? Cool. Oh, he's climbing up. Look at all the hearts. That's adorable, man. I kind of want to make videos on that. Now, it's entirely up to you if you want to see it, lads. Okay, so that was Link's Awakening. Now we have Oracle of Ages slash Seasons commercial. Not sure what this... Oh, it's for Game Boy. Okay. And we have like a cinematic trailer, that's awesome! The Game Boy Color in an adventure too big for just one game. Rated E for everyone, each game sold separately. Get into it! I mean, all right. <laughs> that was definitely the manliest version of Link I've ever seen. Um, didn't look like, or didn't, it didn't look like Link, but it didn't feel like that should have been, he should have been that, like, buff. <laughs> Maybe they wanted to make him more buff, I don't know. Okay, so now we have A Link Between Worlds. I think this one has come up a few times as well. This is on the Nintendo 3DS. Let's check it out. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? Oh, 
That's bonkers. I like that. What's that? A giant burger? I mean, that's cool. I like it. That was different. I like how he kind of became like like a painting on the wall and you can move around. That's so cool. I really like that. That was really interesting. Okay, so that was Oracle of Ages. Now we're on a link... No, sorry, that was Link Between Worlds. Now we're on Link Between Worlds Trailer 2. Let's see what this one has to offer. has risen. the sword merge with your surroundings that's really cool and travel to a new world Loru? Oh, this is the other world. What the heck? It's almost kind of like an upside down. An opposite world. So very beautiful, so very promising. You have a need of a hero, and your link is superb. Oh, okay, so it's like, it's very similar to Hyrule, but different. Hmm. I think that has some interesting story elements to it that I think I might enjoy. Now we have a Link Between Worlds gameplay trailer, so we'll actually get to see a lot more gameplay, which is good. So let's uh, let's check this out. Whoa. Explore all new dungeons. Whoa, what the heck? That's so awesome. I wonder if your weapons can break in this. Oh shit, boss battle, boss battle! There's a giant turtle! Oh, that DS is awesome!
cool. I'd be curious to know how many of you have played all the games that we've seen so far. Because I know there's a lot of hardcore Zelda fans in this community. And you guys have been telling me about games that you've played and how many you've played. And I'm really, really surprised by that. And I, it's awesome to see that there is very dedicated fans to this franchise. Because it seems that all the games have something different to offer. And are all unique in their own respects. Which is great. So... I think if I got into Zelda when I was a kid, I probably would have been the same as the majority out there when it comes to playing the games, but I'm only new to it, so I am willing to go back and play some of these old titles. But now we have The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. Let's see what this is. And what did this come out on? Nintendo 3DS. When one hero isn't enough. Oh, okay. Stand together and triumph. Whoa, look at that! <laughs> Alright, so you need to be a certain height to hit those. Outfit yourself with new abilities. Ah, oh, look at his samurai outfit! That's awesome! Okay. Lucky loungewear. <laughs> Wait, it protects you? What's that? Big bomb! It's explosive. Oh, you get explosive stuff. Oh, that's awesome! And show each boss who's boss. That's adorable. Triforce Heroes. There's a lot of playful cute, wholesome games for Zelda as well. Actually, you know, the overall franchise is wholesome, but there's a lot of games that are very, like, family games or games that you play with friends, and I think that's awesome, you know? It's really cool. Uh, so we have another Triforce Heroes trailer. This one's called the Princess's Tell All trailer. Let's see what this is My about. My name is Princess Styla. It's five minutes, and okay. And held a great power. Princess Until Styla. one fateful day. A curse robbed me of my gift, my namesake, my style. What? My dad's pretty beaten up about it, not that I blame him. Who wants to see the royal heiress in a onesie? So I've lost She's myself in a onesie? until a hero can free me from the curse. <laughs> Luckily, I've overheard Sir Combsley giving advice to would-be heroes. Apparently, it's dangerous to go alone. In fact, three heroes are better than one. So what's their names? So if link? You link up with your friends. Hang on, it showed their names there. Friends, I want to go back. So, then one. so we got Link, Talon, and Ralph. Are these actual characters that are in the... in the game's lore? Or is they just put these characters in there just for other characters? I really hope they're in Breath of the Wild. I don't think they are, but... So if you link up with your friends, you may just survive the dreaded Drabland. So we got Link, Talon, and Ralph. Wait, what? Reminds me of the Rice Krispie characters, Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Locally? Oh, don't be a worrier. That's my job. If you connect to the internet, you can team up with friends. Or any other heroes searching for companions. Behold the power of three-player co-op. Journeying across the Drablands is too dangerous for me, not to mention mysterious. <laughs> Just look at that jerk! How did he get so tall and arrow-proof? Never mind that. Run away! And you need to stack up. In your favor. Yeah. The totem technique shall be his undoing. Remember, nice. no mystery towers over the might of the totem. Just toss, throw, and there you go! That even makes me feel That's actually better. really cool. I think that'd be such fun gameplay. To save the day, 
and me. You'll have to battle across 32 dungeons. I hope you're feeling up to it. Whoa! I am not. <laughs> oh, I meant to tell you something, but then I cried instead. Each stage will have three items, but each hero can only carry one at a time. Okay, so you have to work together. together part comes in. As Sir Combsley always says, stay vigilant. Communication is part of the puzzle. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, you solved the puzzle. You must be great at teamwork. Use icons to communicate. In order to strategize with your fellow heroes, touch these icons on the bottom screen. Oh, you poor lost uh, lamb. Emotes. Click the icon to gather your allies. So, this icon is for items. Wait for it. Yeah. Who shoots a puzzle? Oh well, violent but effective. Time to celebrate in style. If you communicate with other heroes online, you'll have a totally different kind of fun than when you play locally. That's actually cool. I remember fun? Kind of. Style is everything. The narration for this trailer is. Styla. A... That all just is. doesn't fit or something. At the end of each dungeon, you'll find some treasure chests waiting for you. Support your local tailor, Madame Couture, by taking in your materials. Madame Couture. Madame Couture. Crazy kind cat lady. Me. Kind of a lot, but she's scary talented too. She's basically a fashion alchemist. Ninja. Taking treasure and turning it into fashion gold. Try suit. My hair and burn my cursed tights to wear something that's Torrent robe. Okay. I mean, Madame Couture's outfits have magical Spin powers. Spin attack attire. No, really. Okay. Take this Zora costume for example. Zora it's costume. Oh, cool. On. Or the Gorn garb. It's so hot you'll even keep your cool in lava, pain free. Promise. No way. Oh. Wait, are the Gorns immune oh. to heat? Special. Tacto close. Really the point of this one. But your enemies definitely will. Fight with friends or against them. Aw, how sad. <laughs> the same heroes you battle alongside make for killer rivals in the Colosseum. The winner is rewarded with material for new outfits. Can I have some? One last thing, heroes. If you're determined to venture off alone, head to the Drablands with a couple of stand in heroes. I call them doppels. One hero can switch between them oh. to solve puzzles and slay. Okay. Things like that. So if you're on your own, you can have these heroes to to be there to help you anyway. Oh no! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> As a team, solve puzzles as a team, beat scary things like that as a team, or I may never return to normal. Oh. So that came out in 2015. Okay, cool. I like it. I like it. Interesting. Looks fun. Um, so that was Triforce Heroes. Princesses Tell All. Now we have the launch trailers. A lot of trailers for this Triforce Heroes, but let's check this out. Alright, so it's showing us a lot of stuff that we've already kind of seen before, but... Game definitely looks like a lot of fun. Oh, 
awesome. <laughs> I love the other heroes as well. They're cool. They're very cool. All right, so that was the Triforce Heroes launch trailer. Now we have the Legend of Zelda commercial. What? This is probably Did really you see old. The is it? Nintendo newsletter? Wow, oh, this nice is ancient. Graphics. I'd like to get my hands on that game. You mean you haven't played it yet? We can play it on my Nintendo Entertainment System. It's oh yeah, we're going back. And it's really rad. Those creatures from Ghana are pretty bad. Octorox tech tags levers too. But with your help, our hero falls through. Yeah, go Link. Yeah, get some. Awesome. Intense. The Nintendo Entertainment System. Your parents help you hook it up. The Legend of Zelda sold separately. <laughs> your parents help you hook it up? <laughs> what? God, I love old trailers. <laughs> they make no fucking sense. All right, so now we have Legend of Zelda commercial two. Okay. Watch Zelda become a legend on your Nintendo Entertainment System. Zelda! <laughs> Which way you go? Good times. <laughs> 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 God, I hope that guy got paid a lot of money. <laughs> Was he supposed to be playing Link, but dressed like that? I don't know. I don't know, man. They're old, okay? They got, they got away with these commercials back in the day, so why not, right? Why not? Okay, so now The Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link commercial. Zelda continues. Defeat your enemies. Save the kingdom. Use your sword. Alright, this is better. At least somebody's actually dressed up as a character. Zelda 2, the adventure of Link. And now, get into the latest Nintendo games. Ghostbusters 2 and Iron Sword. Only from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power. I mean, alright. <laughs> God, I love old ads. I just love them. Alright, lads. So that concludes part one of our Legend of Zelda trailer reaction journey. Now, as you can see, lads, in this part, we explored a lot of the earlier titles of Zelda, plus some of the ones that fit in with certain timelines. And, you know, the one that kind of stood out to me the most was Ocarina of Time. This is also one that has been mentioned in the comment section many, many times over as well. So... I think I might play that one, um, especially the more kind of remastered one, which looks actually like a lot of fun. It also has a lot of storytelling in it, which looks awesome. And another game that I actually kind of want to play is Link's Awakening on the Switch, which I said I think, I believe, is the newest Zelda game that's out right now. Um, but there is plenty more trailers to check out and like I said part two is gonna come as soon as this video gets all of the support and the likes So if you guys really want to see part two a lot sooner then I can get working on it as soon as possible for you all and maybe release it in the next couple of days But that's entirely up to you because I know part two is probably gonna be a lot more exciting than part one Considering there's gonna be like Breath of the Wild and more titles that you guys mentioned like Majora's Mask and that So I'm definitely looking forward to part two and recording it, but overall these games are amazing They have this consistency of having these wholesome and adorable looking characters with a pretty interesting story one that's kind of cliche but you expect it and you kind of appreciate it which of course is Zelda trying to find the princess and save her and all that stuff so very similar to that of Super Mario but this is something Nintendo like to do but Link's character is definitely a lot more interesting than Mario is somebody that actually has a story and goes through a lot of different things and faces a lot of different enemies um, but overall I like what we've seen and I look forward to more part two is gonna be awesome and I can't wait so First off, before we end the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. I greatly appreciate it. And make sure you do subscribe to the channel because if you haven't seen it already, I have started Breath of the Wild. I'll put a link up here so you can see the playlist. I've played it for the first time. The, the video got so much support and so many people were just so like happy about it and really enjoyed it and wanted to see me 
keep going and keep playing it. So I decided to do like a full playthrough of it. I am by no means finished, but I do tend on playing the game to its maximum potential. And that means finding all the memories and obviously defeating all the divine beasts and coming across a lot of the shrines as well. So hopefully, you know, it's going to be a more flushed out playthrough one that's kind of consisting of everything now i'm not going to like 100 percent the game by any means but i'm going to do my best to do everything that there is to do and enjoy it and have fun doing it which is the most important thing so make sure you do subscribe for that series because i think we're up to episode 7 which will be dropping on the channel in the next few days so make sure you do be a part of the community but anyway lads that being said that is going to end our legend of zelda reaction journey today as i said part 2 will happen in a few days if you guys just get the video out there leave a like and support it and let me know that you really want to see it so I can get working on it as soon as I can but anyway I am gonna end this video here lads thank you so much for watching and as always stay geeky stay cool be awesome and be happy and I'll see you dudes in my next Legend of Zelda video see you later dudes